This is Jay and today I'm going to show you my new record Portable Melodies Volume 2. Today I'm going to show you the standard vinyl version of my new record and all the sounds that are on there. I also released a limited edition with some more bonus content, but for more information on that limited edition, you can find another video in the description box below. First I'm going to talk about the concept behind Portable Melodies, then I'm going to show you what the record looks like, and at the end you will hear the sounds that are on the record, so stay tuned for that. First of all, let's talk about the concept behind Portable Melodies. I had the idea to release a 7-inch scratch tool focusing on melodic and musical scratching. There were a few options out there, but I actually didn't hear about any skipless record that um, has melodies that are all in the same key so you could combine them. So that's basically what I aimed for with my first record. This is volume two, so there was already volume one, and I'm yeah, gonna release more and more records like this and they're all gonna be in the same key, so you can mix those together and combine all of the sounds together. So in simple words, those records are not made with one specific routine in mind, but actually you can combine and find your own sounds that you like and express your own musical ideas with them. On side A, there's drums and bass lines, and on side B, there's more like synthesizer, leads, uh, FX sounds, stuff like this, um, and more high pitch stuff. And basically that's the same concept on volume one, so I think that's a good concept. Just record a loop with one side, then flip the record over and solo on it with the other side. So now, let's have a look at the record. All of the records come in these plastic sleeves to protect the cover and to keep the record from falling out, you know. As you might see here, the records are randomly marbled, which means some of them are just plain bright yellow. Actually, some of them look more greenish and some of the records are like completely dark marbled. But actually, I took care that the darker ones are going to be in the limited edition set and the bright yellow ones are going to be in this standard vinyl edition. The cover is designed like a promo 12-inch single. It looks like a DIY style kind of. The logo on it was designed by Sonderschooler, that's a really talented DJ and visual artist from Mannheim in Germany. And on the inside of the sleeve you will find those four stickers as a little gift. Now that you know what the record looks like, let's listen to it. So as you may hear, I made some different pattern variations of the beat. So you can scratch either kick to snare, or you can scratch snare kick, or you can scratch kick head snare. Actually on track 2 and track 3 I put some snare rolls. There's one electric bass sound on there that I played live with my fretless bass. And the others on there are from analog synthesizers for more of an electronic sound. Actually, there's one more hidden bass sound on there, but actually you need to find out yourself where that is. So at the end of the last bass line, I made an Apeggio synthesizer sound with a locked groove, so it runs forever. So let's switch over to side B. The first two tracks are very long sounds. One is a Hammond organ and one is a synth pad. They are made to play around with the pitch of the turntable or if you have a controller one or that Vestex PDX 3000 with a MIDI function. Unfortunately, I don't have one of these to demonstrate it, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Bye. <laughs> 
The next sound is a little saxophone, which was already on the volume 1.5 free download scratch tool, but I needed to have this on vinyl too, because I like the sound so much. The next one is made from a vocal sample. Then there's this cool mellow sounding analog synthesizer. Then we got this high pitched lead sound that I like. And there's something really unique, the talk box sound. Actually it says portable melodies if you listen really closely. And the last one is the classic R and fresh sounds. A lot of people told me when using my first record, volume 1, they wished there was an R on the record because then you could loop a drum beat and a bass line, just flip the record over and immediately freestyle over that beat that you just made. So for them that R sound is a little present. And also side B concludes with an endless locked groove. It's uh, some kind of octave up and down synthesizer sound inspired by a sound that DJ D styles used. So, I hope you guys like the video and also like the record and pick up your own copy. If you have any feedback, any comments, any questions, just write below this video and I'm gonna do my best to answer all of your questions. Below this video, I'm gonna post all of the links where to buy this record so you can pick up your own copy. So, for some more scratching, hardware reviews and also live looping, just stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, see you in the next video.